Okay, I'm drawing by candlestick. So rents, that means buyers and sellers equally powerful. So in this type of situation, so we um, here in this movement or this movement, this movement, this movement. So which one we can call it's a pullback. Basically, can we uh, tell any situation here as a pullback? No, sir. So here, basically, the buyers and sellers trying to uh, move, buyers trying to move to up direction, and sellers also trying to move uh, to down direction. So this is the resistance level. When market came here, it reversing. Uh, when market came um, to the support point, it reversing. So this is the situation here. But in this type of situation, market also trying to create inside of this range, sometimes it's looking like already trend started. Okay, I'm drawing each and every situation here. This one. After this rejection, market may again got rejected from here and it may fall down like this. Even it may break this level, after breakout market may again goes up like this. We already know what is retracement. There is a difference between retracement and pullback. So this is totally a ranging situation I have drawn already. And at the last stage here to here, inside of this range, there is a trend and it already created low, high, higher low and higher high. So that means it's a trendy situation here. So when market created here a trendy situation inside of this range, and market finally came to this extreme seller's entry point area. So when market create this type of situation and after that sellers again enter in the market and it sometimes it uh, uh, broke the support level, lower support level or sometimes it exactly close. Suppose it's exactly close at the support level. Okay, I'm removing this one. <clears throat> exactly close or market may create another weak size candlestick here. Like this. So market may create two or three candlesticks in the pullback situation. And after that, if this is a real trend, a real trendy situation, real trend start from here, definitely after this pullback, market will continue. So we have to understand which situation we have to take as a perfect pullback. It totally depends on, uh, we have to understand with market structure and market movement and total market structure, we have to analyze. So in this type of market structure, if we, there is a three candlesticks here, 
there are three candlesticks here. Again, three bearish candlesticks here. Two, again, two, again, three. That means here to here, the breakout happened. After a breakout, it exactly closed at this resistance level. That's why market again falling down. So when market falling down, if we take this one as a pullback, it's not any pullback situation. After these two candlesticks, if we want to take this one as a pullback, it's not a real pullback situation because the total market movement is a sideways movement. That's why definitely we will not take this one as a pullback situation. Pullback, that means one party become very stronger, another party weak, the weak party create sometimes one candlestick, sometimes two candlesticks and sometimes three candlesticks. After any breakout, if sellers, after any, suppose it break, broke the level, previous resistance level. So if market trying to create bearish candlestick here, and if we see market create two candlestick and exactly after two, within two candlestick market close above the res support level. Previously it was resistance, now support level. So that type of situation we can take as a pullback. But based on market movement and market total market structure, we have to analyze, we have to take, we will take this one as a pullback or we have to avoid. In basically what happened in ranging situation, after any breakout, buyers may enter or when market exactly close at any support level, by try to enter in the market. So if after these candlesticks, if buyers again came back to that area, that means buyers again entered in the market in this type of market condition. So can we take this situation as a pullback? Because it's looking like low, high, high, low, high, 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 low, high, high. It's the uptrend market structure. So after this uptrend market structure, sellers entered in the market and it already came to this support area, support level. So after it came back to this support level, buyers again entered in the market. So can we take this one as a pullback then? In this type yes, of sir. ranging situation? Now we can take this one as a pullback, right? But, yes, sir. but there are some conditions here. So what's the condition? So this is looking like a, this is looking like a trendy movement by the buyer side. And if we draw support level by trend line, how many times market reverse from here? First time, second time, third time. So can you tell this one as an extreme bias entry point area by trend line? Yes, sir. So, if this movement is really stronger and really it's a true trendy market, so after this candlestick, market may create another candlestick here by the seller side, this size candle. It will not break this support level by trend line. 